How are combines made and how do harvesters work are two questions I get a lot during harvest. But while cutting our rice crop, I'm usually too busy on the farm and in the rice fields to stop harvesting, open up the machine and answer those questions. But right now, before we start planting our new crop, I wanna make time for us to get inside and learn how this Kloss Lexion harvesting machine works. Pops is going to lend a hand and back the combine out of the shop so we can get a better look. I think it's too much in the shadows. Yeah, let's take it out there. I think the sun's in the bad position. Put the camera over there this way. Always turn around. Okay. Pops, it's just too muddy over here. We gotta move it over there. It's too noisy over here. Yeah, the birds. Hold on, I got a better idea. Sunny and warm? I don't know about that right now, but dreams do come true here in Omaha, Nebraska because Kloss Lexion Harvest Combines are manufactured right here. And we're gonna take a look inside. <laughs> to see what it takes to build a Lexion harvester. But first, a couple interesting points about this facility. Kloss of America Omaha here is one of 13 production facilities around the world and the only in the US. This 200,000 square foot facility has a production rate of anywhere from eight to 23 combines per week. And that's with a staff of 60 installers on the production line. That's amazing. So let's go. Okay guys, it looks like we're going in to tour the production facility, so let's get a vest and some safety glasses. Okay guys, we're on tour and Jenna just said something amazing. There's 50,000 parts on a combine and Kloss averages one new patent every week since it was founded in 1913. Employees are here working on the combines, wrenches are going. Let's take a look over here at the feeder house. This is basically the throat of the combine. Those chains draw the crop into the machine. See that bottom slot there? That's where the crop travels. Here's the feeder house installed on the combine and now a graphic illustrating how it works. Just beyond the feeder house is this pre-separation drum that beats down the crop and evens it out before it quickly moves into the spike tooth cylinder that threshes the crop, removing grain from straw. Below the spike tooth cylinder are concave grates that allow grain to fall through. This is the combine's first opportunity at separating grain from straw. As the crop moves on, it reaches this accelerator drum and is efficiently divided into a dual rotor separating system. As the rotors spin, the tines, or those notches here, beat against the crop and is the machine's second opportunity to further separate grain and straw. And that's what's happening inside there. Straw is blown out the back and the collected grain awaits to be unloaded into the grain cart. And that's a harvest combine from factory to farm. Being on this tour with everyone inside with the tools and machinery running, it's like this symphony of clanks and clacks. Take a listen. Okay guys, the tour just officially ended. However, John and I are gonna meet up with Jose who runs the production line. And he's gonna give us a little bit of a private tour. Jose, I just noticed something. This is the mm -hmm. final assembly, right? That is correct. But none of these combines 
have wheels on them yet. So how do you move the combines? Air pallets. You can actually literally push it by yourself. Push it by yourself? Yes. And about how many pounds will these air pallets lift to allow you to push it by yourself? 50,000 pounds. Wow. So that's how much these airbags are lifting. So one, two people can push 50,000 pounds by themselves with these. Airbags. Correct. Wow. Okay guys, that concludes our private tour with John and Jose. That was awesome. They let us play around, get some close-ups of the work that's going on in here. John. Yeah. Thanks a lot, man. So all I need now, I think, is some aerial shots, but I didn't bring my... John, this is the first time an Inspire 2 has been used on a rice farming TV episode. I think right now we might have the opening sequence. What do you think? Or closing. Wow. Looks awesome. Okay. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something about how harvesters are made and how they work. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. We're gonna get out of the cold, get back to California, get back to work. Take care guys. Now before we get out of here, we gotta test drive one of these, right?